All right, what's up Dragon Brew? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Nahiri's Resolve. A bit different than we've done before because we're gonna to try to go real big with this. And I think it's gonna to work to where we should be able to get a few wins on the standard ladder. All right, as always, if you do like today's deck and you wanna buy it, check out our friends over at CoolStuffInc.com where you can save 5% on all your nerd purchases. Doesn't have to just be magic stuff. You can get board games, card games, whatever. You just have to use code DRAGON at checkout to save 5%. Okay, so getting into this deck list, we're actually gonna be playing Nahiri's Resolve. This gives everything plus one, plus zero, and haste, which is great. And you can blink your creatures every turn. Creatures and artifacts, we're gonna be playing quite a bit of both. Speaking of which, we're gonna be playing some Ambitious Farmhand. This is important because we wanna play some more expensive cards in this list, so getting the land is going to be necessary. We're also gonna be playing Spirited Companion, because if we can blink this, this is great, because we get a lot of bonus cards. And we're gonna be playing Circuit Mender. This card's actually super sweet too. We get life when it comes into play. When it dies, we get to draw a card. This is gonna help us find everything we need. And this is actually a really good card against Mono Red being a two, three, and also getting us to life. Another card that I've been wanting to play in more list is Twin Shot Sniper, because one, it just acts as a deal two damage spell, which is great. When it comes into play, it can deal two damage. It also has reach, which is awesome. And if we get to blink it every turn, it's just an extra two damage, which we love. Speaking of which, along with Nahiri's Resolve, we're gonna be playing Elish Norn because all of these things can trigger multiple times, which is great, so that's a big thumbs up. And we're gonna be playing Steel Seraph. Now, this isn't the most exciting thing to blink. However, we can play it for three mana, and then if we blink it, it comes back as a big five, four. And just getting the life is gonna be important. Now, the biggest thing we can blink is actually Atali, Primal Conqueror, which is fantastic. I think you're probably tired of seeing this on the ladder. And we're going to be playing a couple of copies of Portal to Phyrexia, because if we're going to be getting all that mana, we might as well just do this, and then blinking it every turn is also sweet, or we can just get a creature back from the graveyard every turn. Now, to assist this, we're going to be playing some Ossification, that we don't get any benefit from blinking these, this is just to buy us time. However, we are going to play some Touch the Spirit Realm, which we can actually blink our own things, which is actually super nice, and can actually get the added benefit right then, or we can remove another problematic card. Outside of that, that's kind of all the big stuff we're doing. This should be enough to get us some wins, but we're gonna find out. So you can get the full deck list at the end of the video, or you can go to our description where you see the little blue arrows that'll take you to our Moxfield link, and then you can get today's deck list or any of the others we played throughout the season. But y'all go enjoy the games, strap yourselves in, and catch up with me on the back end of the video, and we'll talk about what we learned after playing these games. Okay, we have no reason to toss this back. Let's see how good it is. I mean, this isn't bad against most things, I would assume. Problem is, we just got to find some more impactful cards along the way. This is okay. Here is briefcase. They're doing some ramping. All right. Well, we're going to just make the damage go. So let's go ahead and give this flying. And we'll attack. See what we can do with all this. <clears throat> all right, they had an ossification. Fair enough. Don't think we're going to be doing too much of that, so let's just get rid of that. And we'll attack. One has five mana now. For a wedding announcement. Unfortunately, this does not get rid of enchantments. It does get rid of creatures and planeswalkers, however. Um, yeah, let's go this first and see what we draw. Obviously, we'd like to find an Nahiri's Resolve or something here to play next turn. Portal? Hey, at least we got mana to get close to playing that, so that's something, I guess. Back with this. Alright. That's kind of it, I guess. You got it. Yep. Those just come through. I uh, now officially have no idea what the opponent's deck is or is trying to do. I thought I knew, or at least had a concept. I obviously don't. I 
At this stage, I guess we just want to draw... Uh, yeah, okay, it's a tokens deck, obviously. <laughs> like, sure. Yeah, just block it up. Why not? Nope. They'd just rather creatures get bigger next turn, I guess. That's fair. That's going to make this portal not very good. We need to hit Natali. Basically. To just score something bigger. I can't quite draw cards off of that yet, because I need another color land. Alright, the token, now they have a bunch of two twos. That kinda sorta does a thing, but not really. Uh no attacks. I mean I could block a thing. Oh, they weren't even interested in letting that happen. Wow, okay. I would have probably attempted it. But okay. One has a ton of mana right now. I don't know. Ooh, I like that a lot. I like that a whole lot. But I'm going to go with this first. Yeah, obviously those have to go, right? No attacks. Another briefcase, which now does give them the colors to be able to draw cards. If they want to crack one briefcase into another. Which looks like they might do. Sadly, only a companion in the yard to be brought back right now. But maybe we get something great here. Oh, there we go. That works. Uh, and that's 10 mana, right? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Excellent. So we're going to go here. And here. And we're not even going to attack. We're just going to go to the end step. Yeah, let's, I was going to say, we're about to blink a lot of things. The wild part was, if they didn't deal with our Elish Norn... Actually, it didn't even matter, because I was going to blink everything, and then they would just attack for six or however much. But then we were going to get four life, two lands, deal four damage, and get four cards. Like, that was about to be a sweet turn. And with that much mana, we could have done whatever we wanted to after that. Like, this is like almost the dream situation you hope to set up. I don't think this is going to happen very often, but cool that we at least got to see it. All right, let's keep it. Ooh, is this mono red? It'd be interesting if it is. Because we have Steel Seraph, but we also have other ways to exile some things. And we probably, in this matchup, want to wait on Steel Seraph, like, as long as you can. Realistically. So that you can uh, come over the top later for some life gain. We can go ahead and play this. Don't know if they have another thing or not. But whatever it is, we're not going to be able to block and stop it. Even if it's like... Squee or something. It was not a squee, though. So that's good, I guess. Phoenix chick. Alright. Oh my gosh. Alright. They just brought the heat there. Fair enough. Not bad. Let's go with this. See if we can find another land real quick. Not even close. So we'll just do this. <laughs> and probably just chumping with the Spirited Companion if we can get away with it. If they have another in the festivities and like whatever. Alright. We're at 14, so we're not super concerned yet. But it's not good. Seemed like they were debating using another spell there. I feel like I don't think it would be wrong to assume that they have a 
uh, lightning strike there. So what I'd like to do is just play this, use this to kill off a creature, and then try to play just a really big Steel Seraph next turn. Might be asking too much, but we'll see. I'm gonna play with Fire Us. All right. Mechanized Warfare. A little annoying, but all right. Is a bit concerning because it means now Lightning Strike can kill a Steel Seraph, which would make us very sad. Uh, we can play this. Actually, you know what? Let's play this first. Just out of curiosity. See what they got going on. All right. Didn't change anything. Was it a lightning strike? It absolutely was a lightning strike. Gosh dang it. Well, that's what we were worried about. We knew it was a possibility. Now we need another one. All right, getting rid of a mountain to draw a mountain. They did not draw a mountain. All right, sadly, we got to kill that. And then we got nothing, so we're just top decking straight up here. That is a damn good card to top deck, if there were anything. Burn spell to kill their phoenix, please? Uh, yeah, I will take those. Uh, there's nothing to get rid of, though, with that, huh? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Actually, that's great to have it in that order, to be honest, because then we just get rid of the phoenix, and we know we never have to see that again. All right, now we just have to hope they don't draw a lightning strike in the meantime. All right, are they going to get two burn spells? I don't know if they have anything with trample. But 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 doesn't do it. I'm going to just attack with that. And then I'm going to blink this. If they have any burn damage, they're just coming after us, right? So we're just going to go for lethal next turn. Just leaving a blocker so things don't go completely sideways. Oh, actually... No, it didn't really matter. Okay. I was thinking there was another possibility there. Draw two cards. Okay. That's what we were hoping for. Oh, we got all this. And those all have haste? Yeah, shoot the opponent. Play that. Play this, which will also have haste. Play this guy, which will also have haste. Shoot the opponent. Give this lifelink. Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> All right. I don't know what they drew there at the end, but I'm happy it wasn't a lightning strike. All right, this is probably fine to keep, right? I mean, we sort of know what we're doing already. We're going into farmhand. Uh, we did draw the Itali, so not bad. We're going to have access to five mana, so that's okay, I suppose. Doesn't really hurt anything. Obviously, going to go grab a planes. And we're not doing much right now, though. Like, okay, so the opponent's doing some ramp activity. We kind of already know what they're doing. They're just going to be working up to Atraxa. Which, this is a little bit of a bummer, because we're stuck either... Like, assuming they have Invasion of Zendikar, they go get two lands. That puts them up to six. If they have another one, it's already seven. And I sort of need this to deal with the Atraxa. But I'm just going to gamble and do this anyway. I mean, they may not have it. Who knows? 
mean, we're not doing much else here. So we're kind of just up against it, hoping they don't have the right cards here. Okay, they had the invasion and they had the land. So if they have a track, so they're just going to cast it. And we're not ramping nearly fast enough. So the best we could do would be a tally two turns from now. And it's probably too late. Yep. All right. Ooh, don't love this. Let's mulligan that. Let's keep this. Uh, boy. We have... Ah, You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Mostly because Farmhand can go get a land. We have our removal card there. We can play this with the land we get from the Farmhand. So it's not like we're without options. We get a plains, and then hopefully continue to draw some land. I don't really know. That is not what we wanted to draw. I'm gonna attack. I mean, let them do whatever they're gonna do. All right, I'm gonna go with. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do this anyway. Give us a shot to do multiple things next turn if we need to. I doubt we're going to need to, but, you know, maybe. All right, we will try. Oh, well, there we go. That worked out. Put that here. Get rid of Glissa. Play this and get a card, and hopefully it's a land. It was not, but it was a way to get another land, so that's not the worst. <clears throat> Vran, okay. We got this, so now what do we want to do here? I think, I think, we go ahead and do this. And then I'm going to play this. And if they sweep the board or something here, ah, eh, tough life. I chose poorly, but I kind of wanted to set up just a bigger play on the uh, Nahiri's Resolve. They could very well just Gix this command here and eat our lunch because I got greedy. Okay, they're not going to Gix this command because <laughs> they would have just done that and saved the cut down. All right, well, that sort of works because uh, we want to use this on that because getting cards from the uh, circuit mender was not going to do much here. I mean, I guess we could have, because we're gaining life every time it comes back, so I guess it would have been mostly fine. Oh no! They got to Terra Center before we got value for it. I guess, though, it's better than them getting rid of our Nahiri's Resolve. So, like, there's that. Or we're just going to cast a Tali. That's the other option. I'm not mad at that either. Ooh, we get two very good cards. We use that to kill Vran. Then we get us a Glissa. No attacks. That's good stuff. And a Butcher. We are not too worried about the Butcher. Ooh, that's nice bonus action. We will go ahead and attack with this and this. I don't even think we want to attack with Italia. I don't want to even risk them double blocking, actually. <laughs> We're going for greedy value. I don't want to give the opponent a good block there. Uh, we'll lose a life draw card. That is totally fine. Actually, we can do this. One, two, three. That would leave us five mana, right? Did we tap for two? Oh, we can't play non artifact. Eh, never mind. We'll just do this. And we'll do this. I should have done that first because I could have got some life off of it. Oh, I didn't have the card yet. Um, We will get rid of that, 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 that.
Mostly because I want to be able to block some damage. <laughs> like... Alright, cool. We take seven, get a couple of poison. Yeah, opponent's dead. All of our stuff is going to have haste next turn. I could have probably killed them last turn too, but it's whatever. We have a bunch of triggers going off here. Uh, shoot the opponent. Yeah, that's way more than enough. All right, let's keep it. Oh boy, what are we going to be looking to do here? Probably ossify a Yukai naturalist. Oh, okay. Well, not that yet. No, oh, they could have, like, audacity there. That that would have sucked a little bit, actually. If they had that. Um, much as I want to play other things, I think we got to get to work on this. And just keep their creatures somewhat under control. Especially if, like, Kallax shows up here. He's going to get the other ossification. If that's even what they have. Yeah, that was the other thing. There was a good chance that was all meaningless. Uh, Really can't do much else here. I mean, we could remove that, but I feel like there's going to be a bigger threat. But we'll see. I mean, for all we know, there's just going to be like Hallowed Haunting here or something. Which would be unfortunate. But if it is, it is. All right, Spirited Companion. That definitely does a thing. Teachings. All right. So I guess I should have just got rid of the Kami when I had a chance. Because now we got to take a bunch of damage we don't like. But that's okay. <clears throat> yep, we'll just block. This is just about preserving life total here at this point. Not 100% sure what this looks like just yet. I mean, next turn we can play Mightstone Weakstone. Oh, and now we got to use it to get rid of Heliod. Like, we may not even just have enough life left. Yeah, we might just be dead anyway. Because that's three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Then we just take seven next turn. Best we could have done is gotten Elish Norn down. Actually, I guess, yeah, even if we do that now, we still take seven. Yep, we're just dead. That was just a terrible draw. Ooh, man. All right, I'm going to keep it. I have a feeling this is not a hand we want to keep, though. We do have a lot of two mana things we can draw. Hopefully we find one. The only reason I'm keeping, though, is that we do have three land. We can cast things on consecutive turns on three, four, five. Even if nothing else goes our way. So maybe this is fine? I don't know. Wormlets. Okay. Well, that is something. Hmm. Okay. We've seen and played some versions of this before. Not too upset about it. I'm going to go ahead and attack with this. Because other than chump blocking something, meh. Alright, Yoshin Dissonance. Well, that's a little bit of a nuisance. It does grow the wormlet, sadly. And that, so we don't have quality blockers here. Um... Hmm. How do you want to go about this? Uh, lifelink, but I just... We're just no attacking here, I think. Which is sad. We might already be too far behind, but we'll see. I mean, we do have some reasonable chump blocks here, so... We can see how this goes. But it's not great at the moment. I will say that. Oh, 
opponent wants to give that up, huh? Uh, might as well black here. All right. And then play this. I mean, we can still get to a tally action, so this isn't the worst thing yet. And then play this. All right. Whoop, no attacks. Now we can chump block a little bit. All right, but actually Besaju does us a favor because now we can play Atali next turn. That's actually good for us. I mean, the opponent has no way of knowing that, obviously. This does not look like an Atali deck at, at first glance, so I would not blame them. Uh, we will chump block to preserve some life total here. A little concerned with their other cards might be. But yeah, we're going with this. I'm assuming they don't have anything great we can get from them. Yeah, Machigo's Reign of Truth. Uh, we'll take Ossification. Gets rid of this. Because we can't get rid of the Patchwork Automaton because we don't have mana. This double strikes, but yeah, all right. Let's get rid of that. Sure. I have a whole 3-3. Three, three. No attacks, though. And then next turn we'll have 8 mana, so we can do both of these, which is kind of slick. Not mad at that. And we should, theoretically, have enough life total to survive a lot of that, but we'll see. My Thresh, sure, that makes sense. We can still block, so not upset about that. Oh, that's pretty nice. Don't hate that. Um, all right, we're going to go here. If I give Atali lifelink, they either trade Automaton and something. Probably just Automaton. They block Automaton and Brawler, right? But then we don't die to 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage. Could also give Atali flying, but I kind of want to give Atali lifelink, actually. I feel like then we don't have nearly as much to worry about. So, I'm going to do this. I mean, the other option is we could just give the Steel Seraph itself lifelink. Maybe we do that. And then... They'll attack with those... I mean, blinking Atali is kind of baller here, and I don't want to give that up. So let's say they get that through. We'll be at 16, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Somehow put a counter as 15, 16 if they get rid of this. Both those cards would have to be bombastic, though. I think we're just getting in with this. Nope, if I'm blinking Atali, whatever. Let's go. Yeah, that's fine. We could live with that. I mean, we're not giving the game away that way, so that's fine. Yeah, we get to kill all that. I'm into it. So they will grow a little bit, but nowhere near enough to kill us. So that's not bad. Uh, I'm going to get rid of both of these. Because then we get the extra land we need to be able to play the portal. And that should lock things up, barring something crazy happening. Alright. And we drew another Steel Seraph that we don't really need. Also get another blocker that we can't blink because it would put it back on the opponent's side. Yep, and that'll do it an interesting one um i'll keep it we don't really have any way to draw cards to get extra land here but i mean we do kind of have a removal card and we have a steel seraph so i mean i guess that's something but looks like we're just playing against the blue deck and these are probably not going to resolve so there's that
other problems. But now we just start on the parade of like, get the opponent to counter things. Yep. And now we just want to draw land, land, land. That's that's our new plan here. Try this. Ooh, they do not have creature counters at the moment. Nor a way to draw cards. What the hell? Oh, they must be holding all of the serpents. That would make sense. Uh, hmm. What are we going to try to do here? I mean, I guess we tried. They didn't have a counter a second ago. Did they just find one? Ah, they did. They found an essence scatter. Gosh dang it. All right. Well, that's probably going to be it. Yep. You got it. And I assume you get to play the big 5-5 uh, five five here. Yep, no blocks. Ooh, we are definitely not in that neck of the woods here. Um, I guess we're just going to play this. Now, these do have reach that the opponent may not be aware of. But we can uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm having a hard time figuring out what counters they do or don't have because they didn't quickly didn't counter the sniper, but then they did counter the Elishnor and then didn't counter the next thing. So like, a little confused. All right, we're gonna force a counter here. Oh, they don't even have one for that. Wow. Um, wife link. Sure. What is their hand? Is it just lands? This is odd. I mean, I love it. It's great. Okay, make us pick up things. Each player chooses a non-land card return. Okay, we'll choose this, I guess. I mean, you're giving me the burn damage back in my hand. Like, sounds great. I'm into it. I'm into that. Let me tell you. Sure, no blocks. All right, let's see if you found a counter. Looks like they did. Oh, Disdainful Stroke. Ooh. Okay, well, we got to give this lifelink now, unfortunately. Let's see if they can find uh, five damage, six damage. Opponent says they don't care that we have a Steel Seraph. That's concerning. But, I mean, nothing we can do about it. I mean, if they got it, they got it. Uh, alright. Try to give that lifelink. And then opponent says GG. Fairy Vandal. I mean, I'll shoot a Fairy Vandal. Sure. Yeah, that was weird. You knew I had these. Like, that was so strange. I mean, we'll take it, but odd. We'll keep this. All right, let's go ahead and go with this. So, I, I don't know, maybe I, I sometimes feel like maybe I should just lead with the mountain and not let the opponents know what we're up to. Let them think there might be a play with fire or something in the future. However, though, you could always goof up and end up playing the wrong land or something and then not casting anything on the second turn. So there's that. We're getting in there. I'm just going to play this for now. That's what kind of counter action they've got going on. Here comes cut downs. Go for the throat. Okay. Well, go for throat wasn't going to be able to kill a steel seraph anyway. So there's that. Go ahead and attack with the farmhand. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try to get this out there. It's another thing that doesn't die to go for the throat, so. There's for discovery. All right. Well, it looks like we're going to be doing much the same thing here. Uh, 
Unfortunately, they're going to get to do their fun stuff before we get to do ours. I'm pretty sure. So, let's go with... This? I'm assuming they're going to reanimate an Atraxa here. If I were guessing. Unless they just miss a land drop. Well, or a land comes into play tapped. I guess that's the other option. Liliana works. I'll have this fight finished before brunch. Yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and shoot Liliana. It leaves us with no real spells to cast. Oh, wait, no, that was dumb. That was dumb, because I could have just played it. Uh, I guess doesn't matter, but really, I could have just had another creature in hand right now. I forgot it triggers when it comes into play, too, for some reason. Brain just skipped. Alright. Just get your other big thing into play, and then we can just go home. Alright, there we go. <laughs> like, jeez. We'll keep it. Why not? Alright, well, these cards do nothing against those. We definitely will not get to ossification anything, so we're just going to go down to 16. I mean, good news is we do have some chump blockers. We found another ossification. We do have a touch the spirit realm. So if we can find some of our bigger cards, we might be okay. Seething wormlets. That's definitely a candidate to uh, get ossificationed. For sure. Even though, truth be told, I probably could have got away with Steel Seraph there. Alright, Gold Hound, which does give them more mana. And an extra Gold Hound. Wow, okay. Yeah, no blocks. That was uh, a thing. Okay. I think we go with this. Let's go lifelink, and I'm going to hope this lives. This is where we are at the moment. All right. We're not going to be able to block that easily, obviously. Yet another goal down. Wow. Okay. Those all have Vigilance, which are going to be super annoying, so no blocks. We're only at 11. Can we die next turn? We can't block any of these. 3, 6, 7. I guess we could blink those. Don't really want to, but I think we have to. Let's. We just have to stay on the safe side, because with this Ozolith out, it is a bit of a problem. I was going to blink my own Seraph and try to get tricky, but I think we need to just play it safe here. And then get this lifelink. Uh, that has first strike, too. Ugh. Yeah, like can't even attack into it if I wanted to. I mean, I could, but no benefit. All right, we're kind of all in on Nahiri's Resolve next turn. There's really nothing else going on here. We bought all the time we can, I think. Hey, Wire Might, all right. And they can psych it to destroy an artifact. Target non-creature artifact or non-creature enchantment. Okay. So they can't kill our Steel Seraph, but they can get something important back. Tough, but fair. Makes sense. Can't fault you for that. Good choice. Alright. Ronin's good. We take four. No blocks. Okay, 
Hopefully we just don't die next turn. That's what this is all about now. Well, we're going to gain four, so I'd like to think they can't kill us. The opponent to 14. We're going to blink both of these since we can't really block anything effective. Though I say that, a 2-1 would be able to block the Ronin there, but let's see what happens. And if we can get the right thing off the top, it'll have haste. So we could theoretically win next turn with a few different cards. Or even a situation where we get like a uh, companion into another card could help us out. That'd be good too. Bone is playing so many artifacts. All right. Or something that we get a different power into play. Then we could gain life off. Oh, well, this just gets haste too. Never mind. That's that's more than enough. Actually, nope. That's exactly enough, as it turns out. Lifelink. Lifelink on both of them. Oh, no, no. <laughs> that was like, it doesn't matter. Game's over anyway. Misclick, though. Should have had more life. Ooh. I'm going to keep this. It's not what I feel good about. But it does have the cards we kind of sort of want. Okay, that helps a little bit. Gets us a little bit extra here. Okay, there we go. Now if we can find another land, we'll kind of be in decent shape. <laughs> you know, when the set first came out, that card seemed to get a lot of play. And then it's like everybody forgot it existed. Which is kind of interesting. I give this little dude flying. Why not? I assume we're not going to get to keep our Steel Seraph, but like, what else are we really going to do here? I mean, benefit could be if they just have go for the throats, but otherwise, probably going to lose it. Though, if we draw a land, it's kind of nice here. Get to kill the Flamestoke. And get some attacks in. Ooh, Obnixilis. Well, good news is we can get rid of Planeswalkers and we can fly over into something. So we like all of that. Uh, we'll decline. I'll just take two. And you lose this is great. So how do we want to do this? I guess we'll just shoot one and attack into one. No point even caring about that one one too much. Yeah, it seems fine. Alright, we'll do that. Uh, shoot that one. Give it lifelink. Go get that. Alright. Another stoke? Oh, don't kill my Sarah. Oh. All right, another Obnixilis, sure. We'll just do the same thing again. This time, just giving two things flying, probably. Actually, it's kind of interesting. Like, do we? Because... Yeah, it'll decline, whatever. We're gaining enough life, we don't care. That's pretty nice. Doesn't do much here, though. Um, How do I want to go about this? I guess we'll get rid of one. Uh, which one's a token one? That one? Alright. So let's put this here. We'll get rid of the token. And then we'll just go ahead and attack the other one. Uh, get this guy lifelink. I'm trying to think about how much we're willing to take here. but Or flying. But yeah, let's give this flying. And this attack, attack. Actually, no. Let's do it the other way. Get an extra point on the opponent there. There we go. That makes more sense. In the turn. And then here, if the opponent tries to kill our Steel Seraph or our Sniper, we could blink it with the Touch of Spirit Realm. Or I guess they try to sweep the board or whatever. Oh, this is going to be perfect, actually. This is exactly what they're going to try to do. The rain of flesh is over. Yep. 
And we're going to target that. Excellent. Ah, oh, that doesn't quite do what we want. But uh, I don't think we care that much. Give this flying. Back into the opponent, attack into Varaska. All right. Uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. That, eh, all right. I guess this is where we get rid of that finally. So they don't get extra cards. All right. Blood Tithe Harvester. You got it. Ivar. So that thing has instant speed now. Can tap. And you can return something two or less, which is going to be a Vindictive Soulstoke, or Flamestoke. Alright, that took long enough. Um, now, is there a way we die? Let's do this. Give this flying. Back here, attack here. Actually, wait, opponent's at... 13. That's 9. We'd only do 4 more. Nah. And then these are protected for a turn. So sure. If they can find 18, so be it. Alright. Cool. We'll take it. Okay, so while this worked out, I would say that if anything, realistically, we probably need a few copies of uh, Citizen's Crowbar, right? I think that's what we're going to be looking for because we do want some ways to destroy artifacts and enchantments. And we really don't have any, which was a problem a couple of times. And this can randomly be good in the matchup against Selesnya enchantments as well, so we don't mind having it. The card that probably underperformed, sadly, for us was Mightstone Weakstone. I actually thought this was going to be a bit better than it was, and that made me kind of sad. I thought we were going to get to do some cool stuff with it, like Mightstone Weakstone kill something, then maybe go into Steel Seraph, or just get multiple cards with it off of the uh, Nahiri's Resolve, but ended up not really being a thing. So if I were to make a suggestion, I'm probably going to cut one portal to Phyrexia, possibly cut to and maybe both of the Mightstone Weakstone because we do have ossification already. We have touched the spirit realm. We have twin shot snipers. So we do have some ways to try to kill creatures. And that's six ways to even get rid of a big creature if we needed to kill like, uh, let's say, Geodrid with this. So I'm fine cutting those and we can add two citizens crowbars. Probably could just stay at 61 cards and add another one. Uh, however, with our lands, we are playing a lot. We've got 13, 17, 18, and another 8. So we're playing 26. Though we do need that a lot of the time, we do have ways to draw them. So I guess we could cut back a planes and be at 60. And then we're playing 25. Most of the stuff is 3 mana or less. Minus Nahiri's Resolve, Atali, and Portals. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess technically there's Elish Nord. So that's a little bit of an issue too. But we do have enough things that are good early that I don't think we're going to worry about it too much. But I do like having the Citizen's Crowbars on the list. So I think the final list we would play would be four Ambitious Farmhand, three Citizen's Crowbar, four Ossification, three Spirited Companion, though easily can make an argument for there being another Spirited Companion, uh, two Touch of Spirit Realm, two Circuit Mender, four Twin Shot Sniper, Two Elish Norn, four Nahiri's Resolve, four Steel Seraph, two Atali, one Portal to Phyrexia. Honestly, I might even... I, I'm going to leave this to y'all, but I think if you want to play 61, go ahead and play another Spirited Companion. If you want to stay at 60, I think you could cut one Nahiri's Resolve and play another Spirited Companion because that is a thing we do need to watch our cost in here a little bit. While four Nahiri's Resolve is really nice, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm just going to say 60. We're going to go four Spirited Companion. I think so, that's the way to go. Lands are pretty easy. We're playing one Igonjo. 11 Plains, 4 Mountain, 1 Sakenzen, 4 Battlefield Forge, 4 Sundown Pass. All right, so how do we feel about this deck overall? Honestly, it was a lot of fun, and it plays a bit differently than you would expect because it actually can still do things even when you don't get the Nahiru's Resolve. 
but that's just a really nice bonus on top of everything else. I will say though, as we saw, like the reanimator decks are not gonna be our friends. However, we did add some ways to get rid of some of the artifacts and enchantments we could help. And honestly, we do have the exile effects to get rid of their big things that they're getting back. But we also have to deal with the value that comes after those. So those are gonna be pretty tough matchups. However, because of stuff like Nahiri's Resolve, we are able to do pretty well against the control decks. Even using the Touch of Spirit Realm defensively can actually work to our advantage. So I actually don't mind that too much at all. And honestly, we had a little bit of game against Mono Red, which was kind of nice, though we can get some slow starts. That could be problematic. We do have some life gain and that helps. So I would say you have at least some reasonable tools against most of the major decks, but you never know what's going to happen. But if you are looking for a different way to play Nahiri's Resolve and even get to use the Mother of Machines, this is actually a pretty sweet deck. And now for today's card spotlight, we're going to talk about Oriok Champion. Mostly because this card's been popular for a long time. It has a couple of printings, but not a ton. And it's really cool because it has protection from red and black, which would be awesome in this type of deck. But even more important, every time a creature enters a battlefield, you gain life. It's really that simple. And the best part about this is it ends up being a really fun card for a commander because getting all that extra life is great. And just having a solid blocker against problematic things can be useful. But on top of that, it's not that expensive of a card. You can still get it for somewhere around nine or 10 bucks on a lot of websites. So actually, this is a pretty sweet card to add to your arsenal if you didn't know it exists. And now if you did enjoy this whole Nahiri's Resolve situation and you want to play it with something a bit different, we do have this other list that was all about four Meriden and getting a lot of creatures from those artifacts. Well, that's all I have you for now. We'll see you next time.